Hey there, and welcome back to Daily Challenges, an educational monster train series where we try to push score on the daily leaderboards. Now, incredibly, I have woken up today at, what is it, 6 a.m. or something? So, it's technically 7 a.m. on my time. So, I was going to record this, and I was very surprised that only one person had finished the run. It turns out I didn't actually realize that the leaderboard resets at 7 a.m. my time, which means that this is the correct daily for today, but no one has finished it yet except for one person who lost within eight minutes. So that's kind of cool. I don't really have a great point of reference to compare my score against at this point, which makes it a little bit of the Wild West. I find that people have a tendency to make assumptions about the run based on how successful other people have been. And so it's kind of nice being able to say, well, there's really no examples to compare against. So I guess we're just going to do our best and hope for what we get, right? Now that said, this is an interesting run. We have Primordium with Stygian, so Frozen Lance, a very strong clan combo. You can do a lot with this. The modifiers, however, are very straightforward and very polarizing, we'll say. Obviously, you have two very strong elements here, plus two space and plus two ember. That's ridiculous. But the reason why you are allowed to have such strong positive modifiers here is because you have starry suffering. Friendly units enter with dazed two. This essentially means you have to play top floor. It also does something very important in that it prevents you from playing superfood here, right? Because if you do play superfood, you will pass on the days from superfood. So your front line actually never ends up attacking for five turns. Two turns is acceptable. It means that you don't attack before enemies walk up. That's, you know, not great, but at least you can play around it. Five turns, on the other hand, means essentially two full waves walk on you, and you're very likely to just pass away. There's ways around it, of course. Things like resin removal can fix this. Obviously, we don't have that in clan, but there are tools. So, without superfood at our disposal, which admittedly is not amazing in this clan combo anyway, right? There's not much to pass on with Stygian. You're basically just looking at Ember Drain Package, pretty much. Without that, Superfood is a lot less e exciting, right? I'm much more likely to simply do something like Aggressive Edible all the way, if possible. If we end up on the Stalwart Snack or Superfood line, we may actually be in a bad spot, right? Because Primordium is essentially dead. In that circumstance, I probably... Oof, I don't know. It's tricky. That's, it's very interesting because a huge part of what makes Primordium so strong is the availability of Superfood. Between Superfood and Aggressive Edible, you always have two very strong paths in any clan combo. Without Superfood, that's tough. I don't know. It's, it's easy to look at this and think, oh yeah, Primordium is easy. But this actually might be kind of tough. So I suppose we'll see. Anyway, our previous run before this was a number six Bramble Lash finish, which I was very excited for. We didn't YOLO a uh, last stand angle that I think another several players went for in order to score higher than us. But we ended up with Bramble Lash with spikes and a Thorn Hollow. Very strange. Demon Fiend in there inside of an Animus of Will. Pretty solid there as well. We It's actually very interesting because the last stand option... It's either a Hail Mary or someone who knows what's coming because you hadn't seen any rage in the run at all leading up to the last stand showing itself. So you either take it prospectively, and I can't imagine why you would because the only rage card at that point that's worth talking about is Dark Deal, which you're, is also a rare card. You're not guaranteed to see it. And what are you going to do? Start start your whole thing with Inflame if you see it? No, of course not. It's way too slow. Just very strange. I don't think that's something that is very natural to walk into. Obviously, we do see Dark Deal in the in the run, so it was very very strong once you got there. But 
you have to take it in a weird circumstance. I don't know. You know, it's not something I would ever take perspectively because it just reads like a dead card if you don't know what's coming up. But if you do know what's coming up, it's very strong because you don't have to actually wait that long for the dark deal to pop off. You can even get a double stack on it in order to really double up and make it make it pretty strong, actually. It becomes much stronger than our line, but requires some pers major perspective thinking. So, interesting. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. So as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. It's all very cool and exciting to do it, I, I guess. I mean, that's what people tell me anyway. What can I say? So, all right, let's go ahead and hop in. Yeah, let's play some Monster Train. One of the early players of this seed. Let's do it. All right, hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing okay. Why did I wake up so early in the morning? Great question. I actually went to bed early, very strangely, and I can't, I never sleep more than six hours anyway. So me going to bed at say midnight results in me waking up at 6 a.m. And then here we are playing Monster Train not too far in the future after that. So pretty normal stuff for me. I'm doing all right. You know, a big audit just finished at work. It's annoying because if you've been watching my videos, they've been like going up on weird days. It's because of that audit. I, you know, I get called into this audit and I'm not at my computer, not able to upload and just way too preoccupied to figure out anything else. So it's something that happens and it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So anyway, it's over. We were successful. Hooray. Excellent news. And yeah all right cool let's play some monster train i've been looking forward to this so all right as before we are xl umbra default stygian a fine clan combo we're facing plating seal daedalus spell shield arcus or rather spell shield fell that's fell not arcus and diligent seraph starting cards are prismal dust flash freeze and grovel excellent starting cards here a lot of prismal dust or rather damage shield availability we have some morsels at least if we end up on that path. Flash Freeze is a great ping. We should have no problems here. We have the modifiers we already talked about. They're very strong, but also very negative as well. Let's see, temples today are on two, four, six, seven. Four temples. Okay, we're planning to take literally everything, unless this run is completely cursed, which is unlikely then we'll take absolutely everything. We have a removal dupe on eight on the magic side. Excellent, we love that. Another dupe on seven with no, no, no shop there. Wow, actually, there's no magic on this whole floor. We have a pretty good steel shop if we need it with a vortex and some money. Steel shop, trinket shop on six. Trinket side does have money, which is nice with a cave. Steel shop has horde and vortex, very powerful. Both sides here, very good. Another good steel shop on five, competing with a rando magic shop. Sure, okay. And then a magic shop on four that has a vortex with no steel. Very interesting. We miss out on some steel shops here that are worth keeping in mind, right? We actually, I think, have an extra steel shop now that I'm looking at it. Because we get the double steel in the early game. Interesting. Huh, fair enough. Yeah, okay. We get double steel early. Umber banner on the steel side on two. Stygian banner on the magic side on two. Hard to say which is right. You kind of want to avoid umber banners, generally speaking, unless we end up on alloy construct suddenly, which is good, right? Stygian banner on the steel side on three. I mean, we could definitely put together some kind of an incant line, potentially, hopefully, anyway. We'll see what we get. The horde today says winged steel, titan's claws. It's, of course, winged steel here. We never click the titan's claws. We're going to grab the Horde after we look at which one we get. Yeah, I had a feeling. Superfood is very dangerous here. I think we have to take Stalwart Snack and hope for the best. This is going to be a weak Primordium run. Crazy. Okay, fair enough. I think Superfood is how you lose this run. If I'm being honest with you, this is... It's powerful, but we have no tools to address the dazed here. This is actually quite interesting, right? I think you take Stalwart Snack, you use it to skate by the 
early game as much as you can, and then we hard pivot to a non-primordium run. Right? That just seems like the only way we reasonably do this. So, okay. Interesting. We will take the Horde. We are still going for it. Founding Seal, absolutely. I give up Chain of Gems, but that's a very strong opener. Now we definitely need to just find Stygian units. Take this trial. We're going to be weak here, but we have decent opening cards. We'll live, and seeing a spell, or rather a, an incanter here, is very strong. Train Steward and Primordium. We're just going to shoot downstairs, play every card. It doesn't matter. We're going to take damage here, and I'm fine with it. So much space and Ember, which is awesome. I get a Flash Freeze, which does get me money, which is great. Let's see. If I Frozen Lance here, we're not likely to... Yeah, I mean, really, this is just Prismal Dust. Or actually... I mean, the, the train stewards do actually nothing. So we'll play the Prismal Dust here. I'm going to Flash Freeze the scariest unit here, which is the 8x2 over here. This at least gets us that kill. Single Frozen Lance upstairs gives us enough to avoid too much damage. Let's see what we draw. Frozen Lance... One Frozen Lance. I mean, it doesn't change too terribly much. I may as well play out the Train Steward. And then the Frozen Lance on middle, I think. Yeah. Yep, it is what it is. Fine. Okay, we get through the Flash Freeze. What we need to do is we need to face tank upstairs. Right? 3, 8. I'm going to go ahead and play a Grovel in front. Perfect. Okay, I'm looking for a Flash Freeze upstairs, which actually will save me everything. Good. We only end up taking the three, which is not too bad. Okay. The one big advantage, we have a ton of Ember and an absolute truckload of space to work with. So we're actually quite strong here, but... You know it is what it is. We can at least flash freeze out the guy in back, which is great. Just sh keep shooting. Wonderful. Cool. We win this combat without too much issue. Great example of Covenant 1 makes things easy. Alright, cool. Now, I'm looking for anything that says incant. Cool. I'm going to grab a making of a morsel, maybe. Do I want this, actually? I don't think any of these really help that much. We're looking... We're going to hard tunnel on every single one of these Stygian banners. So, let's just skip here. Yeah. Crystallis is a good card. Sure. Something that helps out here. Great. Titan Sentry is excellent here for a lot of reasons. He doesn't care about much. He just gets hit. Guardian of the Unnamed is a thing that says Incant, though. I'm going to go Titan Sentry here. I think it's better by a lot. And we're going to go to the right simply because it says Stygian Banner. I need to find me a Siren. Yeah, great. Siren of the Sea. Amazing news. Well worth it, in my opinion. The minus ones, the plus tens. What are they going to? Great question. A minus two here. This is what you need to ask yourself. If you saw an X5, what would you put it into? And the answer is Grovel. Crystallis, not bad. Actually, is there a, no, if there was a 10 in piercing, I might do Crystallis here, but there is not. We're taking everything, because we are. Let's bust out this Plink. I don't want it. Infusion-wise, I mean, this is going to be kind of Garbo, but we are literally going to do Train Steward into Train Steward here. We're going hard. We're going to do minus one, minus one on Crystallis, I think. I guess. I'm thinking about, do I want to save this for another minus two? Not a great target for it. We'll see something else by then, hopefully. I think we want to make sure every single spell we have is accessible. Let's... I don't want to buy this plus ten. Remove, consume, no. We re-roll into a double stack, huh? 
Double stack Prismal Dust is kind of sick here with the extra Ember. It's affordable, surprisingly. What's coming up? Steel Shot? Huh. I don't think this is necessary. I'm going to go ahead and minus one the Crystallis again. Okay, and we chill. All right, yeah, because I want to go to the Steel Shot, maybe see an, a multi-strike that's functionally takeable. Yeah. Mark of Invasion is just guaranteed damage. Maybe. Maybe. We have a lot of good starting cards that can handle this. We'll see what we draw into. Yeah, we're actually just chilling, is what it comes down to. It looks bad until you actually crystallize this floor, right? Ah, the planks. Incredible. That's very good. This means that I can actually crystallize a different floor entirely, which is, you know, solid. Okay. Shark goes middle, where he gives me the collector. Incredible work. We just incant, incant... And then Plink, amazing news. We get a bunch of stuff here. I can and should... I could kill this guy in the middle. 39 comes in, kills front. Primordium is going to pass away. So I think we need to respect the guy in middle. Yeah. Primordium is gone. Because of the double sweepers here. So, ooh, he actually lives. Amazing. Huh. Who'd have thunk it? We get the plink. Great. Let's play out Big Stew. See what we draw into. Fine. Sure. The flash freeze will go middle here. Now, we are playing top. I know what you're thinking. I'm losing score for this, but let me be real. Starry Suffering, I think you lose if you play bottom floor on these. Like, right? I just think you lose if you play bottom floor is the problem, right? Yeah, it's tough. I don't know what else to tell you. We'll incant upstairs. I'm going to kill one of these guys downstairs. That's fine. The plink. Ah, we didn't get it. It's okay. We're going to face tank one downstairs. We actually might be able to do a sizable chunk to these guys, huh? We almost win downstairs on the train steward, which is kind of wild. Weird. 113 is a very strong setup. We almost get this kill downstairs. Just on train stewards. Which is weird, but cool. I like it. Plink. Great. Wonderful. Flash freeze here. Man, we come close to getting this kill on middle. I think we maybe could have done that with a little bit better of play here, but we easily win upstairs. Again, we're trying to optimize score, but we're also trying not to lose. Perils of production. I don't think we need to think about perils. We have double founding seal or double incant scaling. We have an incant unit. I think we're good. The only thing we should watch out for is Diligent. We don't have a lot of spells. I'm going to grab another Prismal Dust here. Third Prismal Dust is okay. Another Crystallis. I should take the Energy Siphon. There is a chance this matters. Yeah, we'll take it. There's a chance that one matters. We're going to go left here. I'm going to look for the Steel Shop options. A multi-strike would be nuts. Yeah, okay, cool. Multi-striking Siren. There she is. Damage shield is really powerful here. Let's see what we roll into on the Stygian banner. Another shark. I'm going to take him. I'm going to take the money. I'm going to re-roll this. If they show me quick... Would I take quick? Again, quick doesn't help me unless I play top floor. I still have to... It lets me swing first, at least. I really like the damage shield 3, though. Well, we're going to re-roll this, because I could see Incant Armor 2. We don't. Okay. Do I take a plus 25 as a give up? I think I am going to grab the large stone into Shark, at least. He lives for a lot longer. If I see a Hef's Consolation or something, I'll be sad I didn't take some kind of defense here. I think we give up the Ghost on this and go in. 
Yeah, I think so, especially since Ring 4 doesn't have anything. You know, it's it's worse than the Damage Shield 3, but there's no way I could have known. Spike Driver Colony is endless? That's true. Means I never have to go to a steel shop again? It does mean I can't self-infuse the shark as well as I would like to. That's fair as well. So, what are we doing here? Removals, maybe? Cut down these cards. We need to be cautious, because I do need to beat Diligent still. And Diligent is going to have 10 billion stealth stacks. So, there's that. Do I want this colony? Just for the endless infusion? I don't think so. I would rather self-infuse Shark and give him up. I'll take the rail spike here. There's a lot of options that this pops off with. We don't have any of those options yet. So don't play this card to kill enemies. But we can absolutely play this card to just do some damage here and there. So that's fine. All right, shark one, go do some frostbite damage. Great job. There's only so much we can really do here. And I think the truth is we need to play these units out. Playing bottom floor here is a great way to lose. This is actually going to be a universal truth that we're dealing with as part of this run. Is how do we not lose? I'll play the damage shield. I'm just going to burn the rail spike for free. We just have to be very careful about this stuff, is the thing. I can keep Primordium alive. He's not really that great here, but... You might as well, right? You may as well. I I favor Flash Freeze on the boss, if only because I would like very much to prioritize killing him fast. If I can maybe sneak a pre-relentless or something, that's great news. I get some a very clean upstairs here. Big fan of this. I get to do a bunch of damage here. That's great. I want to play out this train steward just so I can then get in the prismal dust here. All right. We're doing a lot of damage to the boss, which is great. I don't know about the pre-relentless here. Give him the energy siphon just in case. Frozen Lance upstairs. I'll plank, see what we roll into. Yeah, straight up just keep hitting him. Ooh. Get him with the rail spike for 60 here. I'll do it. I'll do it. You think I won't? It's fine. Okay. Now. Huh. Hit him with the rail spike, I think. This is good because I think it gets me the mid floor kill. I think we win here. Yeah, all right, good. Okay, so we sneak out of this with the rail spike plays. Strange, but doable. Forever Consumed is fine. It's not a great card, but it's fine. It plays at zero cost. I don't think Harness the Titan is ever the play. I guess it could be. Being real with you, we have enough non like non cards that I guess could take this. A minus one is acceptable. It's never Shroud Mitosis. I guess you could take it and maybe try to high roll here into a Nexus Spike, which would be hilarious if it exists. You might consider doing that. I like the zero cost forever consumed, though. That is itself quite good for us. If we see first Hell Pact, we're already really popping off, is the thing. I'm going to actually grab the Harness the Titan here, maybe. Maybe it lets me do some silly stuff with Energy Siphon. All right, fine. I don't want any of these units. They're all Umbra units, and they're all terrible. Okay, good chat, good chat. Well done. Draw. I mean, it has to be draw. We have a billion of everything else, right? I want to see more cards, for sure. Now, I would like a unit... 
more than I think I would like these removals. So let's go to the Umbra banner. A Crucible Warden infusion could be cool on the Siren. Obviously, self-infusing is very cool, but I don't think that we have the luxury for it. I need to be duping for shards. So let's go left here just to look at an Umbra banner. Totem Fragment. Sure, I'm good with that. Abandoned Antumbra, very solid. Shadow Siege Infusion? I have six I have seven space on top floor. I could take space on ring. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's not something I do very often. But sure, right? Cool. She's ginormous. But also this is the rare instance where I feel like we can actually do this. I can play an eight space floor. Which is unbelievable but accurate we're gonna tend in piercing the rail spike i'm gonna go ahead and minus two the rail spike it's an extra 20 damage it's not very strong but it's not bad at least it's better than some other minus twos perhaps i'd like to save this for plus 30 actually so this minus two can go into a prismal dust i guess sure I guess I can go into Harness the Titan in case we hit a spell chain. Yeah, alright, we'll do that. Great, we're taking everything. If it's a shard, we're taking it. The Aggressive Edible Pivot, sure, it's at least something, right? It's better than Stalwart Snack 2 here, and we move on. That's a weird angle, but I was looking for a different... I was looking for anything else, but this is cool, right? She's now tanky enough that I could play on a different floor entirely. We just, the problem is we let everything walk here if I do bottom floor. It's not good. Ah, man, this is a very difficult challenge because we leak way too much if I play bottom floor. I think we have to play top. She's huge. Right? I think we have to do this. Wow, that's a unit. She's strong, as it turns out. Cool. I'm just going to go ahead and play the Prism Dust. It doesn't matter. All right, I need to survive one more floor. All right, play Shark Middle. Play Shark Bottom. We plink upstairs. We hit the Frozen Lands. It's a bummer, but I think it is what it is, right? We take eight because there's only so much can be done. Don't love that. I need to kill this guy in the back for sure. All right, great job. Okay, just play out some train stewards. Doesn't super matter. We'll take the damage upstairs. I'll take the shark buff in middle. I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, plink another floor. It doesn't really matter. I could get this kill. It's a little early. I don't love that. Let's shoot the guy in front, I guess. We'll do enough damage that we're clearing the floor. I'm not really concerned about it. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think I'm going to blow up mid-floor, though. That's great. We'll play out other train steward just to get him out of here. And then I think we're just incanting. We're already strong enough that I'm winning. It's just... Is there a way to improve this? I mean, it's hard, really hard to say, right? Really hard to say. Rando, train steward, sure. We play out the rest of this stuff. Fine. All right, cool. Well, we're winning the combat. I have no fears about that. Can I get this kill earlier on? Interesting, maybe? No, I can't. There's no chance, right? None whatsoever. Yeah, no chance whatsoever. That's okay. I'm fine with it. Just play upstairs. Shoot downstairs, maybe. There's no way I get it on mid floor either. Just, just incant, right? It just do the thing. It's actually completely irrelevant. Yeah, it's fine. 
tons of curses. I want to make sure I don't accidentally take damage from those curses. Sure. We at least kill a guy. It doesn't matter. We win this combat. It was it was never a question of winning. It was just whether or not I could do better. And I don't think there was ever a chance of doing better, unfortunately. So this is a tough run because optimizing it for score is very difficult. Extremely difficult, in fact. What are we at? 4, 3, 7, 11, 15. We're going to be fine because I can use copied rail spikes to do this. I don't need to take cards for diligent. All right, skip that. Ice Storm is a very good spell that I should grab for purposes of plus 30s and things. Yeah. Okay. We're now going to look for Endless. Probably, yes. Sure, we'll go right and look for Endless. It's an option. We don't see it. There's the Incan Armor too. We could have taken it, but again, really doesn't matter. Let me tell you, we are winning this run. I'm going to re-roll you. Ah, we see Endless. Great. Shark is online. Very cool. Awesome. We get the chance to go ahead and remove stuff. I'm going to cut Bad Steward first. He's easy to clear. As far as future infusions, we have two more infusion opportunities. One is Self-Infused Shark. One is Train Steward. So that is just perfectly good. I'm going to go ahead and click Lost Luggage here. It's very strong. A great turn one. Yes. Excellent. The Vortex here is probably just a Plink. Because the other things are all required for... Yeah, we have to chill. Fine. Great. I don't really need anything else. We just kind of hang out. Save our money. Because again, all money is score as well, so we're fine. Endless Shark easily trivializes this. I'm not afraid of Crystal Cloak. Alright. Great. I'm going to play Titan Sentry bottom so I can elevate her. I think it's good. We'll play, of course, Shadow Siege Crazy Person upstairs. We get some stats. It's great news. I'm going to kill some of these dudes on bottom, I think. Sure. Let's play out the train stewards because they're annoying. And then I suppose we will incant and that will be fine. We self-ping because it's actually worth it. Sure. Second shark goes middle. This should guarantee collector. Good. Let's play out cards. Yeah. Let's play out cards. We're incanting. I'm shooting a guy downstairs. I'm taking a prismal dust upstairs. I'm just going to play both of these for the incant value. All right, cool. It's good. Grovel is your friend. We'll take the lifesteal upstairs. Fine. Random cards. I am clicking incants, I think. Right? It's got to be just click the incants here. You may ask why. The answer is simple. I want to get my damage to the point where I'm actually killing this overcharged tank next turn. Which, currently, I don't think we are. We should get there, no problem. He eats Primordium, we're chilling, right? Yeah, we get there. It's actually, you know, it's closer than I think anyone really wanted here, but we do get there. Very cool. Cool, yeah, just make big numbers, right? It's good. Now, I did have to, I do have to roll into something here, right? So let's shoot, great news, wonderful. We get the shot, amazing. Frozen Lance, cool, right? We can at least kill a guy, that's great. We'll plink, it's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and kill my own rail spike. No, I'm not. I could self ping. I think we don't. Instead, I'm going to shoot something on mid floor. It's fine. We're not we're not copying it yet. We easily beat Crystal Cloak. Crystal Cloak stands no chance against our run. Not a chance. Yeah, let's shoot one, shoot the other. 
Our goal here was basically just to optimize turns. So then we take the incant here. I'll take the shot downstairs, actually. Now, this should be enough to beat Crystal Cloak. The question is just, do I get a chance? Does it win early? No, it never wins early. No, unfortunately not. It's fine. Right? It's okay? We, we clearly win this combat. I don't think we win early, though. I mean... You can then play two gigantic guys upstairs and just completely cruise here, right? Yeah, it's no problemo, but we get it in one. Yeah, it's just, ah, man, we're losing a lot of score here, and I'm not sure if we can do better. I'm just over here thinking about this. Like, we're losing a lot of score, but it's such a, such a juggle, right? You know Crucible Extension, if we see an Intrinsic, could serve as... It could give me the ability to skip taking space coming up. I should click it. I'll click it. Just that chance is very good. Drain is an excellent card. We grab that too. Those are excellent cards to add. Now we could go removals. I think I'm going to go left because I truly don't care about a lot of anything in the Steel Shop. Yeah, we go left. Our Infusion here is simple. It's Shark into Shark because this is much more useful than the Train Steward play. The minus two here is fun. Intrinsic, yeah, Intrinsic Crucible Extension. Wonderful. Amazing news. Great. Merchant of Trinkets says, I would take, yeah, first Hell Pact. Yeah, first Hell Pact, 100%. I was just talking about this. Very cool. We're now really online there. I would consider Hell's Banners, but I don't think we need to now. Advanced Prototype. It's kind of funny. The minus two here is certainly Crucible Extension. Or does it have to be the Rail Spike? Are we at the point where I just need to give up the Ghost on this? No, I get one more chance. I get one more chance. We'll take the Crucible Extension. Makes it a pretty reasonable incant here. The Cave says... Oh, Rail Forger's Hammer, actually. Wow, all right. I mean, what that really means is I click Frozen Nostalgia here. Ooh, can I get away with Frozen Nostalgia? That's a weird one. If I can, it's pretty decent. Huh. Maybe... I can get away with Frozen Nostalgia, but I have to take space from Fell to play both my Sirens on the same turn. Or I can try to play second Siren. I have, I mean, with the days, you really can't delay, I don't think. Otherwise, she's not online until way too late. So you can take frozen nostalgia frozen nostalgia essentially offsets your crucible extension so i still have to take space how do i feel about that pretty good right pretty good okay you know it's strange but it's fine I'm going to re-roll the shop just in case there's a really good hit here you could take grindstone hammer chest plates tempered talisman is not bad, I guess. It's not great. Eh. Yeah, I don't think I care. I'm going to chill on most of this and move on. We should easily best this. I am going to need to take space from Fell to basically trade off on the Frozen Nostalgia, which is pretty funny. But, you know, fair enough. Airdrop her in. You can see we play the Crucible Extension. You can kind of see that with one more space, we'll be able to play Second Siren here. We basically fully give up on Primordium. I just do not care about him in the least, and that's fine. Do I just incant here? Is that enough? Do we care? Sure, right? It's okay. Why not? I can just play Prismal Dust here and chill. Great. Cool. Thanks, Shark. Very neat. 
And, I mean, the rest of this is just play cards, I think. Pretty much. Nothing too fancy to add. Ice Storm potentially doing a lot of damage, except for the fact that I just completely whiffed on that. Seems reasonable to me. I'm going to play the Prismal Dust here. That seems okay. Great. We just, Every single Ice Storm hit in front. Unbelievable. I was hoping to at least connect something in the back, but I guess not. Fine. Energy siphon the boss. Of course, we're going to blow up upstairs. Great work. I can do better, right? I think I can do better. I could also... Yeah, it doesn't matter, really. Just play cards, right? Get rid of this damage shield. We have so much damage shield thanks to first hell pact here. Yeah, we're looking okay. Second space, it's fine. None of this really matters. Let's play out some other stuff. We blow up a guy. Seems good. Blow up a guy on middle. I'm going to shoot this other guy on middle. Sure, why not? All right, we're chilling. We easy win this combat. It's just a question of can I do better? Frozen Lance first. Because this means... How much is this? 85 damage? Is that better than this? Which is... Excuse me, five times, so 30. I mean, it's actually the same, right? 80, but I get it for one. Sure, we'll click that then. I'm going to go ahead and click the flash freeze here. We'll frozen lance here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the boss here. It's a big good turn. It's not a pre-relentless kill turn, but it's a good turn. All right, let's play the other cards out. Energy siphon, great. It's a pretty good com I mean, I may as well shoot her with the flash freeze, right? Yeah, sure. Seems reasonable. As long as we win in two attacks, we are chilling here. Right? Yeah, as long as we win in two attacks, we've got it. So... How are we able to do? Are we okay? I think so, right? Yeah, we win this combat. This is The combat is never in question here. It's really just, can I kill pre-relentlessly on Fel? Or at least ASAP on Fel. Let's Frozen Lance first because... Or rather, let's... Yeah, Frozen Lance first because the Plink is stronger here. As weird as that is... Let's try to push damage numbers into Fell. There's a chance we can get her middle, right? Okay, we're close. We are close. Hit in the back, please. Alright, we get the kill on middle. Okay, it's 10% score. We'll take it. This is going to be a very interesting... I don't know, we're going to not score very well, but this combat is also... It's just tricky. Grab Spike of the Stygian, by the way. The Kindle is fun, but I don't really want the payout on a Prismal Dust here. Or an automatic rail spike. The Spike of the Stygian is better. Now I have to take space here. I've already planned around this. Divine Artifact that I'm selling immediately. Okay, cool. Primordium should no longer matter. I'm going to the left. Yep. We're going to see what we hit on the cave first. Random consumables. The Wormkin consumables probably the best. I can bring back a Prismal Dust. Okay, not with Total Recall. That's a rough one. Alright, bummer. Temple today says Spell Chain, which... Uh, is going to be what I put into the rail spike, I guess. I mean, I could have done it in the uh, Harness the Titan, but we never saw a plus 30 or tenant piercing, and I need to pop off this rail spike now. The purge is as simple as Plink, I think. Although it might actually be Frozen Lance, if I'm being real with you. I think it is, actually. Plink is decent when you have plus 15. Our infusion here is Train Steward into Train Steward. It's kind of a free removal. Our goal is to push shards as high as we can. Uh, Primordium is getting thrown away. So let's, I guess, give stats to Shark. Dupe here is 
second siren. Yes. All right, we move on. Two sirens with a shadow siege infusion. Ancient hate's a little spicy, but we should be able to do it. And the rest of this should be gravy, right? Yeah, you go siren, you crucible extension, and we get to play second siren. Great work. Harness the Titan here, it seems good. I'm going to... I'm going to disable... Ooh, I want Collector. I want Collector, so I think we're going to... Sack Primordium? I don't need him for anything here. Right. Incant Upstairs is your friend. We'll shoot this guy with a Flash Freeze, I think. Sure. Man, we almost kill him, actually, straight away. That's funny. Well, we'll take it. I'm doing this because... Alright, I wanted to be able to play Shark Middle if I needed to to get Collector. We didn't need to. Great. Primordium is not relevant in this run at all. And that's just fine. I'm going to blast this guy Middle. I don't want to lose my Ember. Cool. Great. Play upstairs. We're going to just click a bunch of Prismal Dusts here, and that's going to be fine. Okay. We should be all right. Now here I think I am going to Spike of the Stygian the Pyre Wings. For sure, for sure. I can get this kill. I've got to work at it though. I think I want to, I will get this kill. Yeah, it's right to do it. Wait, did it make just the purge copy? Is that real? <laughs> what the heck? I didn't think it would do that. That's bizarro world, but sure. Wait a second, it made a purge copy? I don't know how to feel about that. Strange. Okay, sure. I guess we're gonna keep that guy sapped out. I don't feel like taking the curses here. Let me draw one of my... Yeah, alright, sure, cool. It's the real one. I wasn't really sure what to expect there, but we drew the real one. Neat. Let's incant. I'm going to take a curse. I'll take a copy here. Which one did it make? No, it made a real one. Alright, strange. And then we're going to work on bottom floor so I can get another copy here. Cool. the purge copy it's real the purge copy is still a thing incredible i don't know what to make of that do i click this here's the deal i'm gonna kill my own unit i don't know what to make of that it's a one-time use purge copy how strange Okay, so it could be worse. Shark does excellent work, by the way. I'm going to greed hard. And I'm just going to spike my own guys here, I think. How do I approach this? I think I'm going to kill my own unit. I guess I could just kill the guy upstairs if I'm being real with you. Yeah, all right, fine, whatever. Just do that. Wait, that was the purge copy. Oh, no. Do I, I... I guess I don't actually successfully create this because I didn't realize the purge copy behaved that way, which is strange. Here's what we can do, though. Here, we, we, get, we got this, right? This is the real one. You play a morsel... We shoot the morsel. Okay. We play a morsel. We shoot the morsel. I guess technically we have achieved what we were looking for. Okay. It's a lot of damage. I probably win. I can never self-kill here. I thought about it. Uh, hmm, how do we approach this? See if we can high roll the draw into, uh, bummer. Well, 
let it ride. It's fine. Okay, so we should at least get the copies, the upgrade rather. Umberstone is pretty solid here, right? I think it's excellent to add this. We'll do it. Yeah, that just feels right. Guardian's Amulet, Frenzied Swarm, Crystalline Seeds. None of these are great. I'll take the seeds because it does help into Diligent. We get, yeah, Improved Rail Spike. Let's go. Okay. Bizarre. No, wait. It Look at that. It converted the Purge copies into normal Consume copies? What the heck? Okay, so the purge copies got converted into real spells. Amazing, I guess. We're going to go to the right because it's strong and I want the dupe. Horde today says drop cage, sketches of salvation. I mean, I mean, we play mid floor and we get all three sirens out. We just dupe a siren again. We use spells to carry the rest. All right, fair enough, Monster Train. I have to remove Train Steward, and then we just self-kill Shark, but it's fine. Okay, you got me. We're going to make another copy of her, the Siren here. This is, yeah, this is Magic Side. Right, so third Siren, great. First removal is going to be onto the train steward so that I'm guaranteed to get everything out. After this, I don't really know what I want to remove. We'll look at the magic of steel shots real quick. Lightstone casing. There's a lot of good stuff here, but remember we're paying in score. So the question is really just what's the optimal? I think a minus one into a drain is very good. But the rest of this, I think we just sit on. The Vortex, I think... Let's math this out. We have four. We also have Spell Chain copies, which does beat Diligent handily if I need to. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Way more than I need. We're way good. So we cut a Frozen Lance here. And I think we move on and just save 1,200 gold. Right? Yeah, I think we do it. All right, let's do it. Diligent, let's go. Cool. This is an interesting run because I, you can see how many dead players there are along the way from the group that was playing with us. It's just us right now. The interesting thing to me about this is that it's really easy to lose this run. Really easy to lose this run. I wish to pop the plink here. Okay, that's my pop. We go and begin the process of incanting. We get the harness, the titan. I would like to stop these curses. I'm going to flash freeze to kill a curse boy. Good, yes. A lot of this is going to be strong. We get the sap in. Sap is good. Okay. This next turn is dicey. You may ask why. The answer is simple. Because they're all still dazed. We get the ice storm. We get the crystallis. I get a grovel. And then I think I just sack these morsels. It's fine. We're going to kill a guy here. Good. I'm going to use the other one to kill the curse guy bottom. And we sit on the other rail spike here. Okay. Now they're online. The shark is, of course, not ideal. Let's go ahead and crystalline seeds upstairs to stop this damage coming in. Great. I'm going to... I could self-kill the shark, which I think is a good choice here. As stupid as it sounds, it's good to do it. We're going to play... And we sit on all these other cards. Actually, yeah, we sit on all of these other cards. I do not want to redraw the shark on this turn. Okay. Fine. We now get to play shark downstairs, which is good. Self-mutilation. None of these are purge copies. 
Let's go ahead and play Big Prismal Dust here. Great, we'll play the Grovel out. The rest of this is good. I'm going to shoot some of these enemies, maybe. It doesn't really matter. I have the damage shield here. I'd like to incant. I think we're just going to shoot enemies here, and this is acceptable. The incants are well worth it, I think. All right, we're going to leave one of those real spikes alone. Okay. Thanks, Shark. Very cool. Great work. He's making space. We get to play Umbra Stone here. I want to put it in the middle guy, I think, just because it's not going to take a million damage. The rest of this, we just play cards, right? Yeah, cool. Let's drop in some Prismal Dust here. We're chilling. All right. Save those spikes. Great work. Shark doing excellent job. Uh, now, top floor. I'm going to play the Crucible Extension, see what we draw into. Uh, okay, so I need to avoid taking this damage. So I think Shark actually has to go upstairs here, which is a bummer, but acceptable. Just so I don't take that 10, which I think is a problem. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Ice Storm here, I think. Cool. Lay out cards. All right, we're doing we're doing work, and I think we are winning here for sure. Yes, we defeat this combat. We have simply too many stats on the floor. Accurate. Let's use a consume rail spike here to get the kill. Good. I'll harness the titan here. I can get another consume. I think we're actually super okay, right? Let's pop the guy on bottom. Cool. All right, I think we're fine. We have enough stats that I'm not afraid, right? Yeah, it's it's actually simple, I think. And we win on mid floor as a result of everything. A sizable shot there. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. All right, simply enough stats and enough time 285 shards we make it through this is a very interesting run yeah let's take blank pages this does not ever cause me any problems i am gonna similarly shoot my own shark again i think so i'm really interested in optimizing this run because this run is very deadly it's extremely easy to just kill yourself right it's so easy to just completely Shadow Realm yourself. I do not care about Primordium in the least. No, I do not have the faintest of cares here. I can and should shoot my own guy. Yes, so let's start with Ice Storm Bottom. Great. Let's... How much do I need? 70 plus 40? I'm good, so let's incant middle. Our goal here is to play out as many of these cards as I can. 50 plus 40, now I can get this kill. Great, so we'll do that. We kill the man. There's a reason I do it, and the answer is I don't care about anything else. And... Yeah, I'll sack Primordium. I don't care about you at all. Play the damage shield in the middle. I'm going to save these rail spikes. We're already ahead in terms of the floor. We get shark downstairs. You really gave me fire. You gave me endless fade here. I don't want her. All right. Well, she goes lives downstairs, I guess. What a bizarro world. We blast middle here. Remember, our goal here is to avoid letting these guys walk on me. So let's sap the boss. It's good to do it. We're going to take this kill. Good. Great. We incant. Amazing. I'm going to pop the guy bottom floor. It seems all right. The stupid fade is going to be not good, right? Fade is, in fact, not preferred. Yeah, here's Grizz is fine. Here you go. Sentient, go live upstairs, I guess. Sure. Incant middle, it's your friend to do it. We're going to play the cards out. We're going to blow up mid floor to optimize damage to the boss here. 
Very cool. Prismal Dust. I'm going to go ahead and play the other Rail Spike downstairs, I think. Let's just deal with spicy guys. Seems good to me. Sap the boss to nothing. Cool. We're doing a casual 800 here. It's good. I'm happy about it. Let's see what we roll into. Wind Windleton. Too bad I can't ascend this floor together. But it is funny, right? <laughs> sure, bud. All right, why not? <laughs> why not? Who even knows what I'm looking at here? It's just so strange. But, okay. Let's ping the guy in front. It's solid. Let's plink. And then I guess, I guess we actually can just shoot this man out, which is kind of cool. I'll take it. Another casual 800 and something damage to the boss, which is good. We, we get fade scaling, I suppose. Why not fade? Sure. She does 65 damage, which is, I guess, not terrible. She dies to cleave damage, I suppose. All right. I mean, that happens, right? It does indeed happen. What am I doing here? Does not really matter what I'm doing. Let's just push numbers, yeah? Cool. Easy. All right. There's not a lot left here in terms of spine sheep. This is just silly now. None of this makes any sense. Play out some of these morsels, whatever. We get the harness, the titan here. We're playing. We're playing to win, all right? I don't need to worry about this. It's fine. Our goal, victory at any cost. Who actually knows what's going on? Meanwhile, Shark is... Bottom floor has crumbled. Tragic. Fate is now doing 125 damage, which... You know what? That tracks, I think. That fully tracks. Our goal, should you choose to accept it, is... To kill this boss in next turn. All right, we do get a pre-relentless on the divinity, which, you know, it could have been worse. Oh no, Prince. Prince lives, what the heck? He's too powerful. Prince is simply too strong. All right, we win on this turn. Great job, a rando floor. You know, you take the blank pages because you never know, you could find a ridiculous high roll, but we didn't, and that's okay. We ended up with Eternal Flame, which I guess hit some things, but is still not that great here. In fact, it interferes with my card draw, which is a bummer. So I was why I was playing it the way I did. I didn't want the Endless to be getting in the way of drawing a spell. But we get the win. It's not the strongest score we could have gotten. 68k is very low. I don't think we, we rank on the top page in the end. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we can get much higher. There's ways you can skate this by, I think. Sure, Shadow Eater, okay. Yeah, all right, Spike Driver Colony. All right, sure, and then you just play the Shadow Siege. I mean, let's think about this in terms of hindsight. We know that there's a sketches in this run. You, what you should do is Shadow Siege infuse with Siren and then just play three of those goons and that you can absolutely crunch this run but you need to know in advance right which is very difficult you know it's very tough to say that for sure so this is bizarre i think we can super optimize this if we wanted to we didn't do as well as we should have or could have i suppose it's fine. 285 shards is pretty good. How'd this person do on shards? Let me look at that. 270. We got an extra dupe, basically. That's fine. And number two, what did you do? I'm going to tell you what, champ. I don't think the Glacial Seal is going to get you the max score. The fact that we did poorly is maybe they skated out. Yeah, bottom floor kills. So this is, the, this is actually where they're getting a lot of their points that I'm not. Is they're able to get bottom floor kills here? Thanks in large part to the, I guess the spike driver colonies. Glacial seal infusion. Is this the, is this the elite tech? 
founding seal glacial seal infusion and you clone it with the spike driver colony just so you can get bottom floor kills because we're actually really strong here we lose score because of all of these mid and top floor kills though so many points have been lost i would easily be in the 70ks is the elite tech actually spike driver glacial seal this is, you have to, it's funny, you look at this run, look at my run, this is such a 200 shard run, look at this, this is such a very normal train wreck run, I'm playing this run very, I don't even want to say conservatively, I'm just playing, this is comfortable, right, it's so straightforward, this is, this, I'm playing this at Covenant 25 with 200 shards, this run wins, 100%, doesn't even matter about the the what is it the mutators the mutators change things of course but you know instead you just self-infuse a siren and you play two of them you put primordial in the back he has super food so he lives he's powering up a guy cool passing on damage shield titan sentry solos bottom floor mid floor the rest of this is all the same yeah this is a very straightforward train wreck episode that i've converted into a daily series run and i played it this way because i was trying to optimize score with the sirens but I think there's maybe some interesting elite tech here that I didn't consider. The Glacial Seal on Spike Driver is super bizarre world, right? Is that good? It lets you get a lot of Frostbite in the lower floors and by turns. It's one, it's advantageous because, and I may, may, make sure to call this out, it's advantageous because you don't have to have them attacking, right? They get to activate their ability while dazed, which is important. Interesting. This is a very interesting run. If you want to run this, I'm sure there are neat tricks and little nuances and small changes that you can do to push even further. But but yeah, I can I can see. We did pretty well. I mean, looking at the scores overall, we're currently number three, which is honestly better than i expected this is a tough run in the sense that it's not obvious how to optimize score it's not as simple as just unga play bottom floor slam everything win run you know there's a lot of those that are like that but because of starry suffering you have to think a lot harder so a very fun run i'm actually glad to have played this daily i don't have much else to add i'm interested in opinions and thoughts and what you have as ideas number three is a great score right it's early in the day so i'm probably going to get blasted to second page pretty soon but still i think we did pretty well i can see optimizations i don't think they're as clean as you want them to think they are right it's easy to say bottom floor play every combat you just lose somewhere along the line here though is the problem especially at 285 shards so i think it's easy to greed and get got yeah and that's kind of the theme of this run is don't greed don't get got basically so anyway i'll let you go there i don't have much else to add so yeah hey thanks a lot for watching this i really appreciate your time as always, you can give the video a like if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.